Hallelujah, it's a great part. You know how much the wheels are? A hundred some dollars. A hundred fifty dollars each wheel. Each, each wheel? Yes. A hundred and fifty dollars each. This is a hundred and twenty nine dollars for one. This is a hundred and sixty nine dollars each. But it looks like it's pretty worth it. You can roll over anything pretty much. Oh yeah. Your wife didn't kill you yet? No. <laughs> I'm just curious. Okay. Because I know my wife will kill me. Stay tuned. We're talking about this awesome beach cart. What's going on guys? We've got this really awesome beach cart we're gonna to talk to you guys about today. Um, this is Louie, uh, we, we just met not too long ago. We've been fishing together a lot and he showed us this awesome beach cart. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, about where you got this beach cart and some of your favorite parts about this beach cart. I love this cart because you can roll it in the sand because I'm popping a fish a lot and it's so easy. It's like you can push it with one, one hand. Unless if you're going up, you have to push it with two hands, right? So we're gonna test the cart on the sand first. These wheels are huge. These wheels are huge. And they're very soft. And I think that this will really allow it to, to push through the sand with ease. Pretty easy? Yeah. Wow. Boom, look at these tires. Where'd you get these tires from? These are, I think, what really make it really cool is that it can go on these, whatever terrain. These tires are uh, made by wheelies. And, um, wheelies. Wheelies, actually, th this is the old cup, like the old name for the company. The, the, real, uh, the new name is this one right here. It's wheelies. Wheel. You can buy these at wheelies.com and they're a little bit pricey, but it's How much worth is it. pricey? It's like this right here is $169 plus per tire. Per tire. This right here is $129 per tire. Look at all the stuff it can hold. We've got a backpack on here. Bridge net. Just unload everything. I got seven rod holders because they were on sale, so I had a, you know. And this is a bait bucket holder. So this car can hold a lot of stuff here. We've got a lot of extra features on here. Look at this coffee mug thing this right here. Oh, what, how did you add this part? So basically, this was a uh, um, two bait bait bucket holders. So we, what we what we uh, did is we cut, you know, both of them, cut the two ends, and then we got one. Wait, what is this for? To push. Oh, it's like a pushing yeah. mechanism. Okay, yeah. Okay. Because uh, I used to uh, use a PVC pipe pushing it, and it was it breaks so easy because uh, the oh, hot sun breaks, and I this see. right here won't break. It'll hold forever. I really, aluminum. I really like the the bait bucket feature right here, where it can hold a big bucket of bait with uh, this water. Water gets really heavy to, to to haul in. We've got to walk all the way down to the end of that pier. This is just such a great tool to have. Vehicle. Yep. And it went up. Yeah. Hallelujah, it's a great cart. I've seen some carts with some like chicken wire on the bottom of this so that things can't fall through the bottom. Um, I want to know from you guys, what are some things that you do to your cart to personalize it for yourself? What are some awesome upgrades that you've done to your cart? Slash, what kind of cart do you have? Let us know in the comments below. I want to start some kind of discussion. Thank you guys for watching. 
I just wanted to show you guys uh, a really cool thing that I found uh, and share with you, maybe inspire you to do something similar for yourself. Um, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please like and subscribe. Our job here at Senko Skipper is to help as many people get on fish as possible. We want to inspire everyday people to start fishing. If you need help or you, you want to find out more information, check out SenkoSkipper.com where we've got a lot of different products and a lot of different help on there to help you guys out. See you next Thursday.